we use um, Amazon SCS, which is like a simple email service provided by AWS to send out uh, different type of emails. So the types of emails like, uh, for example, your the welcome message when your user sign up or the OTP, um, the OTP message or reset password messages, or let's say if you're going to activate like some subscriptions, all those emails, not just that, also some like order confirmation email for buyer or seller for any users. Um, we use uh, AWS SES to send out the newsletter. So for for it to work, yeah, I mean, when the email goes to your users, it need to have a proper uh, from um, email. For example, um, I want to use for this exp uh, this video. In the series of video, we are using this brand. So the from email address, what we want is that um, Cuckoo, um, hello, or Cuckoo app. So when our system send out an uh, email telling to Amazon send an email from hello.cuckoo.app to the receiver. It need a verification that our platform uh, or the domain name we, which we are uh, adding into the AWS is a verified domain. To make sure the legitimacy, uh, to avoid spam and all those things, we need to verify the domain. Um, initially, domain is enough and we may ask you also to um, do the uh, email verification as well. Okay, so currently the process is, is partially manual and partially automated. So you need to submit uh, these addresses uh, here. After you submit, what we will do is that we will send you for paid users. Uh, we will send you a list of keys. These keys, uh, it's there is like three C name records which we need to add it in your domain manager. Okay, um, so let's, uh, I think you have seen in our previous uh, videos also like like how to um, use, how to change the branch custom domain under your DNS. So now we're going to do the uh, domain uh, verification for the Amazon SCS. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going inside my um, domain name verification where I'm going to add a CNAME record. So I need, if you see here, it still has my host the main domain name here i need to put the sub value and also the answer okay so let's go and take this is the value let's go with the first one Wait. copy this just uh, go here paste this value and then um i can just close all these things so, those all these things, and then um, this is the, the key because the host is already there, so you don't need to put the same. It varies from domain name provided domain name. For example, let's say when you use Cloudflare, they automatically detect whether the host you are putting has your domain name and they remove that. Okay, so it depends on that. You can uh, try to have a lower TTL value then yeah, we can verify it faster okay i don't want to go into technical of what is the ttl itself because then i need to do a just copy this just copy this and then the this name is add record and then the final one See name again, and then the answer should be. Let's just keep it. Okay, save it. Then after that, I need to. Um, yeah, I think that should be fine. Yeah. So if I wanted to test whether my DNS has been propagated properly. Uh, for example, you see here, this is the our, from our last history. So what we did is that we did the CNAME, yeah. And what is the value we took? Um, this is the value we took. Actually, these data are not confidential. Anybody can just go there and then can see. Um, so if I put this thing, okay, and then check. You see here, it shows the value is NAXP. That's the value what we 
have it here. This is how how you can do your uh, I mean add the CNAME records and also you can verify. There are a lot of the uh, one example is DNS checker, but there are like other 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 tools to verify the records as well. So if I go to my AWS, I'll be able to see whether the domain is verified or not.